Hey, this is YBR with Beam and G Drive, and today we're going to be taking a look at a mod called the Simple Tank. We only got one option here, so we're going to go ahead and spawn it up, and I probably should not have spawned it up here because, yeah, that's not what's supposed to happen. I will just move the tank over here and then reset it just in case it got damaged. And now, this is the Simple Tank. The neat thing about this is you can drive it like a normal vehicle. You don't need to do anything special, you just use the same controls as always, and it drives perfectly fine. Then you also have some additional controls up here that allow you to control the gun, so you can move it left, right, up, and down. So, left, right, up, down. So movement's not super fast or anything, but it's reasonable for a tank. And there's also a locked turret button, which I'm not going to talk about right now because I want to shoot something. And the easiest target is going to be the truck, so we're just going to teleport it right in front of the tank to make hitting it as easy as possible. So putting it right about there looks pretty good. I think the tank will be able to hit that. Back to the tank. We'll go ahead and get a cool camera angle for this. We'll use about 16 times slow-mo, and now fire. Fire is good right into the side of the pickup truck. The door fell off. It got hit so hard, and it's somehow, like, unscathed. That's weird. The rest of the truck, however, it is pretty badly damaged let's see if it'll actually drive after that uh, well we kind of rolled into something there okay apparently the engine is completely dead and will not turn on so that was a hard enough impact to completely kill the truck take a quick look at the damage before we go ahead and reset it and let's replace it with something a little bit heavier okay a lot bit heavier we're gonna get a concrete retaining wall and we're gonna see if it can shoot through that except well it's in the wrong orientation my plan was to shoot it from the other side because I didn't think it would have enough power, but let's just see what happens here. We'll do 16 times slow-mo once again, and then fire! Good hit? How much damage is it going to do, though? Not that much! Not that much at all, though. I'm kind of curious. How consistent is the damage from one attack to the next? So if we reset the wall and then shoot it again, well, that one did a lot more damage. We got things flying into the air, even. So maybe it just kind of depends on luck a little bit, or maybe it's on slow-mo? Because there used to be a thing with the old cannon where if you used slow-mo, it would just dribble the cannon out, and then if you used full speed, it would really hit it. So to test this, this is 100 times slow-mo right here. And we're going to see, does it do a lot of damage or does it only do a little bit? If it only does a little bit, then we know slow-mo messes it up. That's bricks flying everywhere, even hitting my tank, so I don't think that changes anything. And now all oh, my tank's out of alignment because the bricks hit it. If my can is not lined up anymore, there is one more option, though. We could try driving into it and see what that does. Wow. We actually moved it. This is a pretty hefty vehicle because, for comparison's sake, if we do that with a T-Series, even a big, fat T-Series, it's not going to do that much. So we get the T-75 with the cement mixer for the extra weight behind it. And hopefully it spawns next to me. Perfect. We reset that, and we're going to be coming in from about the same spot, so we should have about the same speed. And watch how little damage this thing will do. Ugh. That's it. It's just like nothing. The tank definitely has some mass behind it, which means it would be really good at running over cars. So let's test this out. We need something that's a really good wedge shape. That means the bull light is coming out for this one. And then we'll put the bull light in a wedge formation, which means front in goes in front. And it should make it super easy for the tank to just crawl right over this thing. I don't even think it'll slow down the tank one bit, but let's see what happens here. We'll use some slow-mo so you can watch the car get crushed. Oh, that is flawless. It went right over it. Uh-oh. Okay, well, it kind of got stuck in the tank. And, oh, no, I can't steer anymore. Okay, this could work really good if we had two bull lights, I bet. So we'll reset both of these. And I'll line this thing up before I spawn up the second bull light because I think it'll be a little bit easier if we do it like this. So I'll just park it right here. And we're going to say, spawn me up another. So we hit clone current to make it as easy as possible on me. I don't have to do any extra mouse clicks. And we're going to bring them a little bit closer together because I don't think the tank has that wide of a stance. So something like this. This looks pretty good. So let's see if this actually works the way I hope it does. Full speed ahead with the tank and we got to hit both of them. Mostly in the center. We'll use four times slow-mo right here. That is excellent. Straight over the bull lights and it didn't get stuck this time. So we could keep on driving without issue. Just a little bouncy after that air time we got. They really do work as ramps right there. Alright, so if that works so well with the bull eyes, what if we got something a little bit taller and harder to climb up? And we could try something like the T-Series, but I think that's going to be too tall. So let's go with something in between a T-Series and a bull light. So I'm looking at the ETK 800 series. That's the perfect vehicle to try this with. So we'll spawn up two of these and we're going to put them in the exact same spot we had the other one at. So two 800 series, and then we're going to go to the tank and see if it works. 
So with the tank, we're just going to drive forward just like last time. Shouldn't be too difficult, I would think. All right, that was easy. Straight over them. Oh, we popped the bumper off. <laughs> it's kind of funny the way the bumper came off. Like, we were already over it. Oh, the bumper's attacking. It's still attacking. I'm going to shoot the bumper. I'm going to shoot it. I missed completely. I'm going to run it over at least. All right, enough messing with the bumper. We'll reset everything. And I think we could try something a little bit taller once again. So how about we move to an 8 series, and if it can go over the 8 series, we'll try the T series, but I still think the T series is going to be too tall. So there's the first 8 series, and then there is the second one. Now we're going to go back to the tank once it finally loads up, and then here we go. Let's see if it works. Get 4 times slow-mo going, and oh, it it's hard. It's kind of making it. It pushed it a little bit, got a little crooked, but it managed to make it over them. And that's a success, except I'm going in the wrong direction. We're going to crash hard. Either way, that's a success. I guess we can try leveling this up to a T-Series again. I don't expect this to work. I mean, I could add the one with the ramp on it. Yeah, it would definitely work then. But that's cheating. I want it to actually have to climb up. I want to see it try to do something really difficult because I think it might have a chance after seeing those last two. I don't think it will, but I'm thinking it has a chance. So here we go, right to him, and that does not seem like it's working. Now we're just shoving him along. Wait, what if we hit the wall? Will they squish and then kind of be able to climb up on it? Um, that might work if the wall was at a better angle. The angle of the wall was not too well. <laughs> okay, what if just caught on fire though? I think I punctured the fuel tank. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna try to get this thing out of the other one because it's kind of stuck. Come on, all right, I'll just no grab it out the way. There we go. And now I'm gonna put it up against the wall and then we're gonna try to run over it while it's up against the wall because that might actually work. And right there, that was intentionally crashing the truck right there. Cause I wanted it to turn in tighter and I knew that'd be a really lazy way of doing that. So we're gonna back this thing all the way up to right there. Parking brake goes on, a little bit more. There we go. And we're gonna go back to the tank and we're gonna try to run this thing over. If we can maneuver the tank to that position. Sometimes the tank can be hard to maneuver. Like it just does not want to steer well. Like right here, it's like, come on tank, you can do it. There we go. Although I probably want as much speed as possible, so let's back this thing up. Oh, see? Like right there. What, what is it doing? <laughs> I was accelerating and it started doing a stoppy? And now that I think about it, I never reset the T-Series, so I'll save the T-Series spot just in case I want it back here again. Back to the tank. And then let's line this thing up for a fast collision, hopefully. Come on, steer! There we go. It doesn't work perfectly at lower speeds, but it seems like it does really good at higher speeds, kind of unexpectedly. All right, so this could be the max speed we can get. We're going to get it up to almost 20 miles per hour here. We're about 17, it looks like. We're going to get the slow-mo on the T-Series, and let's see what it looks like. Wow. The whole frame of the T-Series just smushed, but I was not able to climb up it. It's just too steep of an angle, but you see just how much stronger it is. And ha! I didn't expect that to actually do anything. I was just firing pointlessly, and it actually blew it up. If I knew it was going to do something, I would use slow-mo. So let's uh, do that again with some slow-mo because I think it'll be interesting to see all the pieces of the T-Series flying like that. Hopefully they fly again and it's not because like the tank was kind of inside of it. So right there, that looks like good alignment. We'll put a little bit of slow-mo on. We'll get a nice camera angle for this. And then we are going to fire and we're going to see if the pieces fly everywhere or not. So I fire, it hits, and the pieces are flying. Although I missed the front part. Like I only got the upper half. And you know what? This thing might actually still drive. <laughs> I see the cabin flying all over the place. Let's see here. Is it going to drive? Yeah, it is completely drivable. Everything important to driving is actually untouched. The only thing that was damaged was the cab. This works perfectly. And I love how you can see the engine inside of it right there. Anyways, let's go ahead and reset this. And then we're going to go and do this again. But we're going to hit the lower half, hopefully. So we'll lower the tank. And then we're going to shoot at it and see if that does any better. So go. And there we go. Now we got parts flying in the air. We have completely stripped the T-Series of anything on it but the engine and bumpers and wheels. That's all that's left on that thing. And there's flames everywhere. And this one cannot drive because the engine got hit. There's a direct hit to the engine. So all we can do now is reset it. And then, you know what I want to try? I want to try hitting a smaller car with the wall behind it, see if it does anything different. So we'll just put this right there, go to the tank, and then we'll get a good camera angle ready. 
And then we're gonna go ahead and put some slow-mo on, and then fire! And that's a direct hit, and that's as low as it goes, as far as I know, so we're not gonna be able to hit it any lower than that. But I think that thing might still be able to drive. Let's take a peek at it. Uh, wait, we can rev up the engine. We can steer a little bit. This looks promising. All right, let's see. Up to 20, 30. Yeah, this thing can drive good enough. It felt a little unusual on that corner, but a lot better than I expected, considering if you look at that rear wheel, it doesn't even have a tire on it. It's just metal. Maybe that's all the uh, stability control and stuff helping me here, but it seems good enough to drive as long as you don't care about staying on the road too much. Anyways, bring it back. And now let's just shoot it over and over and over and over. Although I gotta do a little bit of realigning. I couldn't, you know, aim with the tank, but I feel like it's easier to just realign the vehicle once the tank's lined up. So like, right there is probably pretty good. So then fire. All right, it's still aligned. Fire again. And there is a bit of a delay, like between the fires. Like I'm trying to fire as soon as possible. That's about how long it takes. And we're basically shooting at a fireball here. We can do one more shot, but I don't think there's much more we could do that car. It is ruined. That thing's been crushed everywhere, but especially in the middle right there. Anyways, let's go ahead and change maps real quickly. I want to go to grid map so we can have a tank versus tank. And I don't plan to have a super huge fight or anything. All I want to do is get the tank, and then we get another tank. Actually, I could just hit clone instead of going to the bottom. And we're going to shoot that tank with this tank, and we're going to see what happens. I'm not going to try to run over the tank because I don't think that'll work. So right here, we are lined up. We're ready to shoot. Fire! And I'm going to shoot it a couple of times because that first one didn't seem like it did anything. So how about another one? Still didn't do much. How about another one? And no, it's not really doing anything, is it? Last shot. Yeah. Let's take a look here. Okay, so we did break a few of the wheels. The rest of the tank seems perfectly fine. Oh, but it can't really drive too well when the wheels are all busted up yeah like I can move it but I can't steer it at all I'm not telling it to go to this direction it's just here I'm going in this direction whether you like it or not so that didn't work too well so let's try something else in the tank versus tank options we could crash the tank into the tank and see if that does anything I don't know if it'll really do much but sometimes things surprise me and it's like oh my goodness I didn't expect that at all so this first tank we're just gonna do a quick 180 with it and we'll park it right no stop it I'm trying to straighten it out and it's doing everything but that, so like, you know what, this is good enough. Just save that spot. This one, I'm gonna just teleport it because driving is too much of a pain. So right there, we're gonna tell the AI to go ahead and chase me and I'm gonna go straight at them. We'll have a head-on collision with a combined speed of about 60 miles per hour, so that should be a pretty good collision. If anything interesting is gonna happen between a tank versus tank, I think this would show it. So let's see here. Oh, what are they doing? They're swerving all over the place. Okay, well, they didn't follow the rules. Oh, there's a secret strategy, I see, so if they get on top of me. Wow. Actually, let's see. Will they be able to climb up on top of me, or are they going to get stuck? Uh, looks like they are stuck. They got a little bit of the way, but they're... Oh, wait, wait. There you go. Oh, they almost can. I don't know if it's just they're not giving it the gas because, you know, they're like, I hit him or what, but that's not working. Shooting them doesn't even do anything, apparently, because they're still unfazed. So we'll reset that. Tell them to stop chasing me. We'll reset them, and then I'm going to go ahead and try to hit them with a head-on collision without them moving this time. Because I think their movement messed it up, possibly. I don't know if this will be any different, but it could be, and I want to make sure if it is possible, I try it out. So now we're going to be going about the same speed, but it's going to be more of a head-on collision right here. That's actually really well aligned, it looks like, and then a little bit of slow-mo going. And this should be something! They're gonna be something interesting though. Eh, eh. That's <laughs> nothing. They're not even shooting each other. Nothing's happening. Okay, my shot was misaligned. Theirs is not, and theirs does nothing at all. So, let's go to a different map. We're gonna make our way over to. Oh, here's a dumb one. Let's go to a racetrack. And we're gonna see just how fast can a tank go. I would expect it to go much faster than the 30 miles per hour we saw initially, but more importantly, how does it handle the corners at high speeds? I actually expect this thing to do pretty good at high speed maneuvers. Well, high speed for it. You know, normally high speed maneuvers would be 80 miles per hour or whatever. This thing, high speed is 30 miles per hour. So here we go, first corner. Uh, yeah, I guess that worked actually perfectly fine. So there's not really a speed you can go where it's like, oh no, I can't control this thing, it seems like. It's just that slow. Like, here's another corner, and no issues there. 
The funny thing is, though, it feels like we're going a lot faster than the 25 miles per hour it says. I feel like we're almost going like 40 miles per hour because it's so big. Makes the racetrack feel small. Makes us feel like we're going faster even though we're not. Oh, whoa. Kind of locking up on me right there. It was all jerking back and forth. Okay, now I guess. So that's the one thing you gotta watch out for. Sometimes the tracks get caught in the wheels if you corner too hard. You gotta be a little bit careful about that. Otherwise, there's no corner you can take too fast. And shooting the tank right there did actually slow me down a little bit. I don't know if you saw that. Anyways, I think we're about done with this. So how about we go up the wall? Wow, we actually got a decent bit up the wall. But I think, yeah, we're stuck. So we'll have to reset this. And you remember the lock button? I didn't completely forget about it. I just temporarily forgot about it. So the way it works is right now the lock is on. So if you're aiming this thing, you hold down and when it's lined up, you let go and it just stops. If you turn off the lock and then you want to go to the left, you hit the left button. And then when you let go, like I just did, it keeps going and going and going. So for me, I pretty much always want it to be locked because that's much easier to aim and it's not super sloppy feeling like this where it's like oh it's going too far now we're gonna go the other way up oh, now it's going the other way and you just kind of swaying back and forth like a maniac i guess you could use that if you were driving around or whatever and not trying to aim but for me i just like having it locked because it looks so much better anyways to finish things off let's make our way over to leap of death and see if jumping off the top of this thing will damage the car or not and i know i just called the tank a car whatever i'm so used to saying car for this game that it just slipped out so we get the tank though, full speed ahead, which actually should be pretty good because we got this downhill area right here. We're going to get it up to about 30 miles per hour at the end of the jump, which is quite a bit more than I expected for a tank to be going. There we go, up the ramp, and down we go, and while we're falling, we can shoot things. I don't think we're going to hit anything, <laughs> you know, just doing trick shots right here. Like, look at this, check this out, boom, I just shot again. Okay, so the tank, it doesn't really seem to deform. It seems to crash, and then a part of it just completely disappears. Because now we have like the top of the tank and some wheels attached to basically nothing. It is spiraling so fast right here. I did not expect it to do that. That is some speed. All right, now the wheels are all out of shape. But really, there's still not much to look at. So, that'll do it for this video. I might have videos in the future where we have the tank and just mess around with it a bit. Because I wanted this video to mostly be reviewing it and doing basic things with it. But there are a lot of dumb ideas I have that we could use the tank for. Until then though, this has been YBR. I'll see ya.